Hi guys, it's Jenry from Craft of Giving and today I want to share with you a super fun idea of making table decorations in the form of these cute little houses that have a little tea light inside it. Not an actual candle but the battery operated ones because you don't want to set fire to these. So depending on how many houses you want to make, you'll need some boxes. I'm just using some old tea bag boxes and little coffee um, sachet coffee boxes. So I'm starting off with my tea bag box and I'm just going to cut very carefully with my crafting knife a little square out of the bottom. So this is where you will be inserting the little tea light. Now don't put a real candle in this because you will set fire to your house. So I'm using the battery operated one so it's safe and just cutting a little hole so I can insert it later. And using my ruler I'm just measuring out my windows that I'll be adding onto my little house. So I'm just using the width of it and then just using the width of it again to just make sure my little windows are the same shape and I'm adding that to all four sides of my little tea box and again very carefully cutting out little squares for my windows. Now if you're young and want to do this please get an adult to help you. I don't want to be responsible for someone chopping their fingers off. Trust me you don't want to. It hurts. I've cut myself once before. It's not fun so don't do it. Now this little flap was in the way of my window so I'm just trimming that little flap down too so that that does not show up inside my little window. Cut out all your windows very carefully and then we're going to start wrapping up our little houses. Now I found some cool um, scrapbooking paper that has a cool textures on it. This one is a nice sort of wooden one and you can use any one you like. You can decorate it with some Christmas themed ones or Christmas colours be creative. I thought it looks so cute with like actual real textures like wood and bricks and things. I'm adding some double sided tape to just all four sides of the box. Now my paper wasn't long enough to cover the whole box so the bottom will have a little gap where you can see the, the tea box but that's alright. You're not going to be looking at the bottom of my house now are you? So I'm just adding the tape all around. Now you can use just a glue stick. I just found it easier to use my little double sided tape and tearing off the little bit that ex oh, sort of hides the sticky bit and then just start wrapping my little box in my beautiful paper all the way around and then just folding in the edges there to make it easier to cut in a straight line in a minute. So I'm cutting with my scissors carefully just on that line to um, loosen those flaps so that we can cover the sides as well. So I'm just cutting to the box, try not to go further than the box and trimming off the edges because I only need one large flap to cover the box from the side. Now we are covering the windows but that's okay, we'll be cutting little holes into the windows. So adding my, stick, my double sided tape again, removing the backing and just gluing down those little flaps. I think this is such a fun idea for the Christmas table. It just adds such a festive touch and it's something interesting to look at while you're sitting at the, the Christmas table. You can add snow to yours and create like a full on scene, a little town. I only made three because my table is rather small so I don't want to have a table full of houses rather than my food. So I covered all my sides so you can see, oh no, my windows are covered. But that's alright, very carefully I'm looking through the bottom hole there into the light to see where the outline is of that and gently and very carefully just cutting a little slit into it and tucking those edges in. So I'm doing that with all of my windows and pulling those flaps back out, adding a bit of sticky double sided tape and then just gluing that back into the box so that those flaps do not come undone later. Just tie it up, glue them all down. You can use a glue stick for this too. Again, I found double side tape easier. And then we want to add some window frames or you know that cool cartoon, you know, with the little window frame inside. So I'm just measuring out um, my coloured scrapbooking paper here to make the little window frames and adding a little bit of double sided tape again. I love my double sided tape just to glue it all together and stick it inside the house. Now you can do it on the outside and then actually frame your windows. I'll show you at the end where I've done that with another one but I thought it would just be fun to just add it inside and if you want to do this quickly 
and that's easier. You can be as detailed as you like, be creative, it's up to you, these are your houses. So just to show you, that's a little tea battery operated candle. Um, do not put a real candle on this, you will burn down your house and the little box house. <laughs> so I added all my window frames to all of the windows and there is the bottom so you won't see that and now to add a little door. So again I found the textured paper, I'm using a nice wooden coloured one as well because I thought who doesn't have a wooden door on a wooden house right? <laughs> so I'm gluing that just with normal glue this time. Oh, surprise I know. Now to add a little bit more dimension I'm just using my sharpie marker to just outline the door a little bit more so it pops so it's sort of create that shadow look to it and try and be careful see I'm just freehanding it but you can use a ruler and I did go over the lines a little bit but that's alright. Now to add a bit more detail I'm just adding little hinges to the door so just to have a, a little bit more detail and dimension. Now I'm adding a little rhinestone sticker for the doorknob. You can draw yours in or glue something else on. I just thought that looks so cute to have a sparkly doorknob. And now for the roof, I'm just using a bit of cardstock as well and just measuring out the size of my house. Now I'm going over a little bit longer than the house with length because I like that look of a sort of overhang of the little rooftop. And I folded that cardstock in half and it will just sit on top of your little house. Again with the double sided tape, I know right, I'm adding it just so it overlaps the corner a little bit and trimming off the edges and then I'll just rest that roof right on top making sure that it gets caught on top of that double sided tape. So it just sits there really nicely. Now you can stop here if you want but I do not like those big gaps in my roof. I feel like, you know, I don't want unwanted visitors staying there. I'm just kidding. No, um, it just looked a bit funny having a big gap there like that. And so I'm just tracing out a little triangle to fill in the holes by just using my roof as my guide and carefully just tracing a triangle out. Now when I cut this out, I'm not cutting right on the line, I'm cutting about half a centimeter from that line to allow for a little flap that we will use to attach to the roof. So I'm just cutting out a little bit of a triangle there, but not the full flap if you know what I mean. So you can see there's a triangle sort of poking out from those little flaps. I will be adding the double sided tape to those flaps in a minute. So I'm just using that as my template for the other side of my roof. As you can see, so I created those flaps in there rather than drawing it in and just roughly cutting that out and then cutting it out neatly, leaving the flaps and then folding those flaps down to create something where we can attach the glue to, to attach that part onto our roof. So I'm adding my tape and then we will add that to the inside of the roof so it catches on the inside of that triangle of our roof. Now you can put it on the outside so it sort of hugs the roof from the outside but it looks a lot neater to tuck it in inside like so. And then just pinch those shut and then you're done. Do that for both sides though. And voila! Now I made three of these because like I said my table is small and I don't want to overcrowd it with little houses. Add in your little tea lights and you can totally make like a whole garden scene if you want to and just go to town with it. Get it? Town! Ah! Oh, snap! Just kidding. Now if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more gift ideas or any DIY crafty ideas. I thank you very much for watching and if you liked it, like I said, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you for my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!